we are checking out the goods and bads of Spectre Divide to let you know if it's worth playing. Spectre Divide is a tactical shooter where the main objective is to either attack or defend bomb sites. If you've played games like Counter-Strike or Valorant, the setup will feel familiar. The game is divided into 14 rounds, with each team taking turns on offense and defense. The first team to win seven rounds takes the match. In Spectre Divide, every player has two bodies, a main body and a Spectre. The Spectre is a ghostly clone that can be controlled separately from the main body, adding a twist that can be both exciting and challenging. Players can switch between their main body and Spectre at any time, allowing for creative strategies and unexpected plays. The duality system is where the game truly shines. It lets players be in two places at once, offering opportunities for flanking, setting traps, or simply confusing opponents. The ability to control both bodies introduces a fresh dynamic that can make the gameplay feel more engaging and less predictable. But there's a catch. The Spectre's movement is connected to a puck that players throw to their desired location. The Spectre then travels along a visible tether, which can be spotted by enemies. While this adds a level of strategy, it also means that enemies can track the Spectre's movement and set up ambushes. This visible tether introduces a risk-reward element. On one hand, it allows for strategic movement and positioning. On the other, it makes the player vulnerable to enemy attacks. This creates a tension that keeps players on their toes and encourages careful planning. The duality system, while innovative, isn't without its challenges. Controlling two bodies simultaneously can be difficult, especially when facing skilled opponents. The Spectre's movement, being visible, requires careful timing and positioning to avoid getting caught by enemies. This can add a layer of frustration, especially when the Spectre's movement is compromised. The game also includes special areas on the map called Fast Recall Zones. These zones speed up the Spectre's movement along the tether, but they are often monitored by enemies. Using these zones can be a double-edged sword. They offer quick mobility, but also increase the risk of being detected and ambushed. Switching between the main body and Spectre is seamless, happening almost instantly. This quick switch allows for dynamic gameplay and quick adjustments during a match. However, the main body remains stationary when the Spectre is in control, making it vulnerable to enemy attacks. This requires players to be constantly aware of their surroundings and think strategically about when to switch. Spectre Divide offers a unique pace compared to other tactical shooters. The game encourages slow, methodical gameplay due to the need to manage both the main body and the Spectre. This can be a refreshing change for players who enjoy a more strategic approach, but it might feel slow to those who prefer fast-paced action. However, the combination of slow, strategic movement with fast gunplay can sometimes feel disjointed. The game's mechanics don't always mesh smoothly, creating a sense of conflict between the two styles of play. This can make the experience feel uneven, especially in high-pressure situations where quick decisions are necessary. The sponsor abilities add another layer of complexity to the game. These abilities, provided by various sponsors, offer unique advantages to players. For example, the Ghost Link Collective sponsor allows players to deploy a clone called a dupe. This dupe can reveal enemies who shoot at it, making it a powerful tool for tricking opponents. However, overuse of this ability can feel unbalanced, as it gives players an advantage that can be difficult to counter. Bloom Technologies, another sponsor, offers a defensive ability that lets players place a semi-transparent shield. This shield slows down the pace of a gunfight, giving players time to strategize. While it can be a lifesaver in tight situations, it can also disrupt the flow of battle and frustrate opponents. Morgan United Smoke ability is particularly useful for repositioning the Spectre. The smoke can obscure the enemy's vision, allowing players to set up ambushes or escape from danger. However, it can also lead to confusion and chaotic gameplay, especially when multiple smoke abilities are used at once. The Umbra Reconnaissance Sponsor provides a heartbeat scanner and a throwable drone, tools that can reveal enemies through walls. These abilities offer a significant advantage by giving players crucial information about enemy positions. While powerful, they can make the game feel unbalanced, especially for opponents without a good counter-strategy. 
Spectre Divide features a range of weapons divided into five tiers. Players can purchase weapons at the start of each round using in-game currency. The higher tier weapons are generally more powerful, making them more desirable for players looking to gain an edge. The difference in power between weapon tiers can lead to balance issues. Early tier weapons often feel underwhelming and less effective, putting players at a disadvantage if they don't save up for better weapons. This can create a steep learning curve for new players and make matches feel uneven. The gunplay in Spectre Divide is solid, but not without its quirks. For instance, one of the sniper rifles, the prototype OP, has a scope that blurs after each shot. This forces players to wait before taking another shot, which can be frustrating in fast-paced scenarios. While it adds a layer of realism, it can also disrupt the flow of gameplay, especially for those who prefer quick and precise shooting. Spectre Divide does include some convenience features that enhance the overall experience. For example, during the buying phase at the start of each round, players can instantly teleport their bodies to any location within the starting boundaries. This feature allows for quick positioning and strategic planning with teammates, reducing downtime and keeping the action flowing. Another helpful feature is the ability to see where teammates have positioned their bodies. This visual aid improves coordination and communication allowing teams to work together more effectively. It's a small but significant addition that can make a big difference in the heat of battle. Spectre Divide also includes a gun range where players can practice their skills. The range offers various targets that can be customized to simulate different scenarios, such as long range shots or fast moving targets. This practice area is a great way to hone skills and experiment with different weapons before jumping into a match. The game features three main maps, Skyway, Mill, and Metro. Each map has its own unique layout and features, such as doors that only open from one side or windows that players can throw their pucks through. While the maps are generally well-designed, they do have some balance issues. For example, attackers tend to have an advantage on certain maps, making it easier for them to win rounds. The Metro map, in particular, has a B site that is difficult to defend, leading teams to avoid it in favor of attacking other areas. These balance issues can affect the overall experience, making some matches feel more one-sided than others. Spectre Divide is worth trying if tactical shooters are your thing and you're looking for something new. The game's unique mechanics and strategic depth make it stand out from others in the genre, but it may not be for everyone. If you're willing to put in the time to learn the game's mechanics and develop strategies, Spectre Divide can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience. However, if you prefer more straightforward gameplay, this game might not be the best fit. Thanks for watching, and until next time, catch you in the next video.